Okay, this is what it looks like when I'm imaging. The scope's outside right now. And I'm capturing image data for Galaxy NGC 7331. You see it right there. This is this window is the uh, is the actual main imaging scope. That's my 10 inch Schmidt Cassegrain. Over here is the guide scope window. This one has a camera. This is my high resolution camera. Um, the one on the right is my guiding camera. <clears throat> You see, where the X is, that's the, um, that's the guide star that I picked. And the camera's being processed by the notebook here. And it's sending movement commands to the, uh, to the scope to keep it tracking the image I'm, or the object I'm trying to image. This is a graph in real time showing the errors, blue and red lines. Blue is right ascension, <clears throat> basically the, um, the, the rotation around the pole star, or Polaris. Uh, errors in that movement. And then red is the declination, which is angles up and down above the, uh, in the sky. <clears throat> so, so right now it looks like it's tracking really nicely. If this if there's any any problems, if I were to go out and touch the scope, all of a sudden you would see one of these lines blip up or down. So it keeps an idea, it gives me an idea of how well the scope is tracking. Um, you can see this is image. Uh, this is uh, showing how much of the image has been acquired. I'm taking 14 exposures, each one three minutes long. Right now it's at 88 percent. When it gets to 100 percent, the image will, will update with the next frame. So we're up 95, coming up on 100 uh, percent. We should see the next, the next subframe. They call it a subframe each time you take it in. There it is. Stars look nice and round. Everything looks good. Um, behind here, is the uh, the map display that I use to position the scope. This is showing um, these circles here are where the scope is pointed right now in the sky. And this is looking east. So um, all I have to do is um, with the mouse select an object like down here on the left. Here's uh, the Andromeda galaxy. I've imaged that before very, very large galaxy. Um, I would select that and then pick under the telescope menu here in the, in the software to slew to that point and the scope will, uh, you'll see this actually track down as the scope is moving to track the new object in the sky. The last thing here is this window. When I do a, a slew, this window here represents software which will take a, a picture of the sky after I do a slew and actually look for the stars it sees in a, in a database of all the objects in the sky at a, up to a certain brightness level and figure out what the error is in the scope from what I actually wanted to point at. Once it figures that out, it then correct the scope and then slew a second time and a third and fourth is necessary until the error gets small enough that the object is dead center of the CCD frame, which is right here. You can see my galaxy here is right in the center of the frame. The neat thing about this image is there's actually five galaxies. There's one there and then there's a little one right there. Let's show you. You sort of see it. There's one there, a small one, another small one, and there is one down here. And I believe there's one up here also. So it's a nice area of the sky. Now this is not the final image. Once I once I get these 14 images, I'm up, I'm up to set image seven of 14. Now that ringing is the uh, the guide scope warning me that this 
the brightness of the star is changing a little bit and it warns me just in case um, a cloud comes in or something like that and covers the sky star up. When um, 14 of these have been taken, the data will be stored on disk and then later tomorrow I'll take them and take each one of these frames and stack them together. Basically the software will line up all the stars in the image. Here comes another update. That one looks good. Um, and by doing that, it takes some of the noise out. It, the more of these images I average together, the less noise there is, and the, the more data I get, the, the, the more contrast it will be. So what well, looks like a very faint spiral here will get to be nice and strong enough. And I'll post-process in Photoshop to get as much de detail as I can from the image. So anyway, hopefully this will look good. And this is why I'm inside here watching a repeat of Saturday Night Live as I'm imaging. So anyway, so that's what it's like to uh, when I'm using my scope.